Hey there YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Mikey speaking. Today I'm breaking down Florida's programs for home buyers. Now these aren't all for first time home buyers, so please stay tuned if you are one. One of the programs I thought was previously first time home buyers is not. But definitely these are programs that can, that can help you with your down payment and closing costs when it comes to buying a house in Florida. Whether you live in Broward, Miami-Dade County, there are some exclusions, but a lender will be able to give you all that information. But I'm going to give you the information so you can ask the lender like, hey, I heard about this program. I get this. Give me the deets. Do I qualify? <laughs> but let's go ahead and bring you over to the computer so I can start breaking down each program and the benefits to it and some of the cons because every program has cons, unfortunately. So here goes my sheet. The best programs to use while buying a house in Florida. Now, if I find out of any other programs, I'll let you know. And Keep in mind, I'm really honestly making this video because my little brother's buying a house in Florida. So yeah, I wanted to give him all the information consolidated where he can just go back and watch it. Hopefully he does. I really hope he ends up buying his house soon. I'm excited for him. All right, so keep in mind that there are some restrictions when using these programs. Income restrictions, you have to be able to qualify for a loan. You have to be able to have a certain amount of income. Your credit score needs to be a certain amount. And as always, contact a lender just as an FYI. All right, the first one I'm going over is the Florida Assistance Program. And all the links will be down below named where I found the information, basically. Uh, the Florida Assistance Program is up to $10,000 for FHA, VA, and USDA. Now, if you're using conventional, it's $7,500. It comes at a 0% interest loan, which is great. Deferred payments, so... All the payments are put at the end of the loan. You don't have to make any payments on it. And it's 0% interest. So it's not occurring interest while you're paying off the house. Now it's not forgivable. And that second loan becomes due whenever you sell the house, refinance, or rent the house. So for whatever, is situ for, sorry, for whatever reason, one of those three situations come up, that whole entire deferred payment comes due immediately. But again, the amount you're borrowing and it's... I don't think I wrote it down here, but I believe this was for the down payment. The amount you're borrowing goes at the end of the loan interest-free. So basically you're putting off that amount that you have to pay for a later time, which is great. Now you still will have to pay closing costs, but this still can cover up to $10,000 or $7,500 if you're using conventional. HFA Preferred and HFA Advantage plus Second Mortgage. Now this one is between 3 to 5% of the total loan amount. This one's going to be better than the last one, I promise you. It is a forgivable second loan, and the way they do it is every year they take off 20% of what you owed. So let's say you borrowed, let's do for round number sakes, you borrowed $100,000. Obviously, you're going to borrow less than that. Actually, let's just do $10,000 because that's more a more reasonable amount. So let's say you borrow $10,000. Every year, they're going to take off $20,000 or sorry, uh, $2,000 for the next five years, and that's going to cover your full ten grand. So all you have to do is occupy the house for five years. Now, I didn't put it on here, but I remember reading that they had some of the same restrictions. If you were to sell the house, refinance the house, or rent the house, then the rest of it becomes due. But the nice thing as well is, let's say for whatever reason, in two years, you have to sell the house for whatever reason. You're moving out of state. That at two years, that would have been 40% forgiven. So in this case scenario, that would have been $4,000. That $4,000 is not due, but the rest of the $6,000 is. So just keep that in mind. Now, those two were for Florida. I do have a one that you can use for Miami-Dade County and a few other counties in Florida. And mostly any other state per county. Again, contact Bank of America. They'll be able to give you more information. But it's the Bank of America grant program. And they have two programs in here. Quick Note, when I was doing research on all of these, none of them said you have to be a first-time home buyer. So I would contact them, even if you're buying your third, fourth, fifth house, contact them and see if you qualify. Most of the time, you have to have the intent to move in because, again, as you read, once you sell, rent, or refinance, the amount becomes due. So this is a primary residence type of loan, but none of it said you have to be a first-time home buyer, which actually includes a lot of people into this program like what i would do is use one of these programs to get a house like definitely the one where you can get the amount deferred and then they forgive it 20 percent every year and just rent out my current home anyways i'm just babbling on now let's get into the bank of america program 
So there are two different grants that they have available. Now these two, you do not have to pay back. One specific for closing costs and one's for the down payment. So the first one, the American Home Buying Grant is for closing costs. They give you up to $7,500 to cover that closing cost. You do not have to complete the educational class. For these Florida ones, it didn't say whether you did or didn't, but I would assume you do, most of them you do. Just keep that in mind. And you do not have to be a first time home buyer. It specifically says it on this one. So the second one is the down payment grant. This one's up to $10,000. They give you 3% of what the purchasing price is. So on what I was looking in Florida, at least for Miami-Dade County area, a good average price is around 300,000. So if you buy a house for 300,000, that's the actual purchasing price. They'll actually give you $9,000 towards your down payment. So they'll give you up to 10, but whatever that 3% is, but no more than 10. So keep that in mind. They do have a disclaimer that that money that you receive can be taxed. So I would also keep that in mind as well. You do not have to be a first time home buyer, but you do have to complete their home buying education class. And both grants, again, being grants, you don't have to pay back. So those are three programs that if you wanted to use, would be great to look into and see which one you qualify for. Just because you don't qualify for one doesn't mean you may not be able to qualify for another. Remember, you have the Bank of America closing cost grant that you can possibly tie into the other two grants that are for down payments or the other three grants. So I would apply for all of these at the same time and just see which ones you actually get, which ones you can actually use. Keep in mind that a lot of them are lender specific, like the Bank of America, you have to use Bank of America. And these other ones, they have their specific lenders that you have to use. But just qualify or qualify, apply for all of them, see which ones you qualify for, and then make your best decisions depending which ones come through. Anyways, quick overview on some Florida programs to help you virtually possibly buy a house with zero money down. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hope this information is useful to you. If you have a county or you have a state that you live in and you want me to review, please let me know. I have tons of information on thousands of counties and almost every state for programs that are available. To the next video, hope you have a good one. Bye.